All right, I'm back at the stadium a couple days later, but this video will come out a little bit later than that. I'm here with Ed Bernstein. Should be here soon, hopefully. Um, got here to do a little bit of droning. Hopefully the droning footage is a little bit better than last time. Working on my stuff. In any event, he's the IT director at Active Ventilation Products. We're gonna be talking about a lot of cool things. On the list, if you wanna stay tuned and listen to it, we'll be talking about content creator tips, how to work with them, and also we'll be talking about mapping SERPs and neighborhoods. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss this. It's gonna be a fun and interesting conversation, and I hope you enjoy the convo. Bye. We're super lucky to have this video sponsored by Zoic. Please watch their ad and support them. Using their AI and all of the different tools that they have, we're actually able to increase our revenues three, four, and five times. We're not only weathering the storm, but we're actually growing right now. Hey Ed, thanks for coming out to meet me. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. We are doing this virtual, not virtual, real life. <laughs> Everything's seemed virtual since for the past, you know, four or five months since it's, March. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I've been like, should I do these videos like virtually using like Google Meet or Slack or something or mm -hmm. whatever it might be? And I'm like, you know what? I'll wait it out a little bit. I have tons of video archives, but then I'm like running out. And I'm like, you know what? We could do this in a socially distant way. I think we're about 10 feet away. Mm -hmm. Um, we're back at the stadium and I appreciate you coming out here. You're um, welcome. So could you please look into that camera over there and tell people who you are? Hi, my name is Ed Bernstein. I am the in-house SEO and web developer for active ventilation products, roofvents.com. And I've been doing computers a long time uh, since I was in junior high school before they had microcomputers. Awesome. Big and thing. You, you told me your first website was in 1994, right? That's right. So it's funny, I published our first, well, I started Rusty Brick, my company in 1994, building websites. Mm -hmm. I think our first website was a Chinese restaurant menu for a <laughs> Chinese store. And back then, nobody went to the web to look up menus for websites, but right. that guy was a pioneer. I think the website was called Glotwalk or something like that. <laughs> um, in any event, um, what was that first website? Can you talk about that? It was, uh, it was for my music. Oh, cool. And it was, uh, I was reading something in Brian Bellendorf I uh, had, had a server running under his desk when he worked for Wired Magazine. And he said, hey, anybody wants uh, some stuff? And I said, well, and he was, had music archives and other archives. And uh, so I uh, put up a page and I started getting my music up there. Awesome, awesome. How did you venture into SEO? What was your first like, oh wait, there's search engines out there. They could index websites and rank them. When was your first like moment? Well, when I started doing websites and um, doing them for other people, and they wanted people to be able to search for them. It was a jewelry website and a photographer website, and I was developing them. So I would start to look at the SERP uh, and say, okay, how do I get up there? And it started uh, a, a road. But really, when I started this job, which was about three years ago, doing in-house SEO for uh, a roof vent company and their bread and butter, their roofvents.com they got 20 years ago and for, for four years they were number one on the first page. Right. Then everything changed and uh, they were kind of struggling at the time when I came in. So I had to really learn and doing full time every day, eight hours of how do we get this website on the first page taught me an awful lot. And, That's uh, awesome. Where do you learn most of that? Trial and error, forums? Uh, a lot of it is trial and error. A lot of it is looking at the SERP and then looking at who's on top of us and saying, what are they doing? Uh -huh. And in our niche, we have a very specific niche. So uh, everybody above us are things like Home Depot and Lowe's and huge companies or sites that are just talking about vents and not selling anything. So it was up to me to figure out how to get take our content and get it there and within the constraints of my bosses who had their own ideas about right. what to do on the website that makes a good segue for i guess our first topic mm -hmm. i know you wanted to talk about um the topic i think you started is working with content creators and bosses yes um how do you do seo with with you know when your responsibility but have no authority so i guess you're the employee you know what you have to do, but your bosses, like you said, have another idea. What tips and tricks right. do you have for these people watching? Right. Well, there's uh, technical SEO I discovered as a, a real 
way that you can make a difference for what your ranking is, even if you can't have a lot of control over the content. Uh, I would uh, sometimes not be able to change the content, uh, but I knew that I could change the URLs and I could change the uh, links on the page and I could put tags and uh, information into the pictures and and uh, really arrange things in such a way that my guide would be what's going on around us, you know, and making sure that the keywords are there. Um, and whereas the content wanted, uh, was focusing on a few high volume keywords, I also made sure that we had a broad amount of information so that if people were looking for something specific, they could find it. It was about the titles and about uh, uh, especially links. And I could see incremental progress. Uh, and, and that uh, helped us. It got us from page three, page two, onto page one. And we're, we're clinging onto page one for our high volume keywords. And we've also got snippets uh, for, for other keywords. We've also, you know, so there are some pages where we're very strong, even if it's not high volume. If people want a event anywhere in the US, which is our target market, uh, they're there. I'm always testing in different localities too, looking that we're near Chicago, you can see us, and near Los Angeles, you can see us. So you were saying like sometimes a challenge in terms of you think you should do X, maybe your boss says do Y, or maybe somebody else in the company says do Z. How do you go ahead and like make the, the case for that? In Well, there's compromises either way. Uh, one of the first things I noticed was very few people use the home page to try to rank. They'll have more specific pages and landing pages that will be the page that's actually displayed on the specific SERPs for different keywords. Uh, but my bosses were adamant that it's the home page. Uh, we're all about Roofence and it's the home page of Roofence.com that needed to be on that page. So I figured out a way to do it. And uh, there were times where I would make sure that there's products on that home page that it's not all going to category pages um, and we we looked at the other other entries on the SERP around us and we found there's a lot of information it's not just sales it's not just people looking to buy things they want uh, to have information answers to questions uh, and well-rounded things, talking about events and not necessarily marketing material, but just informational material. Right. And that, that worked. It served us well. And it seems like you were saying also that you were able to look at the analytics, say, hey, the analytics are telling us this, this is what we should focus on, at least maybe 20% of my time should be focused on this because the analytics is all pointing this way. Um, let's give me, a, you know, give me a chance to actually prove it, and you were able to do that as well. Right. And right. I guess analytics is key for any business, but it's kind of easier to measure with SEO. There's certain things that are very measurable. Yeah. Uh, but also, there's by those people I report to have a healthy skepticism of some of the uh, numbers and the statistics. And they're very focused on certain keywords, and I make sure that the broader base of keywords that I'm, I'm keeping track of and that we're not going to just ignore. Yeah, I don't blame your bosses for being a little bit skeptical about, I mean, SEO in general for the past 20 plus years has had a little bit of like a shady uh, history to it. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't blame them for like not trusting everything. You gotta prove it. And the beauty of SEO is we can prove it with analytics and testing and even Google's been more transparent about things recently than they ever have been, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Which kind of brings us into the next topic you wanna talk about is this um, landscape and mapping of the surf neighborhood. Like yeah. Looking at specific keywords and stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. That kind of shows, you could actually map that out for your, I guess your boss and for other people. So how do you, how's that work? Yeah, well, looking at our, our competition, um, anytime you search for roof vents, Home Depot has two slots at the top of the page for, the, for those specific keywords. And on those pages, it's products. You know, add to cart buttons are all right there on the page that's ranking. Uh, so they have two different roof vent pages that, that have been dominating those particular keywords. So I wanted to make sure that we also, at the top of the page, had things that we could, you can buy. You know, the pictures of products, information about products, and, and ways to get to, uh, to what people want. At the same time, on that same page, 
there are just articles about vents, installations for vents. There's a lot of pages uh, and sites that aren't selling vents. They're just talking about roofing and uh, roof materials. And um, I wanted to make sure we had that represented. And again, um, my, my orders were to have this page rank. Uh, and uh, even though I might have done it a different way, I found that there was a certain amount of wisdom to, to uh, making sure that the home page where you can get to anything on our site was easy to do, but also had a lot of information that was not necessarily marketing, was answering questions and um, without neglecting if people wanted this or that, whether it's residential or commercial or whatever it is, it's all there. Interesting. And you probably have an advantage. I'm assuming you have an advantage over like Home Depot and Lowe's because you are the experts in that specific topic. Whereas Home Depot sells everything under the sun. Mm -hmm. You guys are selling this one very specialized thing and you know more of the questions that people might ask about it. You know more about the builders and maintenance people will know about it. So you can answer those questions if they want to do it or not. Right. And there are places you can link to get to pages that have mm -hmm. more of that information. Um, I should also mention that we sell our vents through Home Depot as well. Right. So that we don't want to, you know, we're not going to be mean. We don't mind if people buy our vents through Home Depot. Uh, but uh, we, we want to make sure that we're there. We can feel the difference. The office is working differently when we're on the first page from when we're on the second page. It seems you know? have a lot of pride working at this company and it seems like they do really good work. and. You, I, Part of you feel like you have a real responsibility in that company to the other employees and the staff. Yeah, which is nice. It seems like you. That's whoever's your, if your boss is watching this. <laughs> he cares. He does. Spoke to me beforehand. He cares a lot. So. I I do, and I, uh, you know, I can I can see when the factory is busy when it's not. We're not importers. We're not distributors. We build the vents. We have thousand pound rolls of aluminum come into the place, and vents are getting shipped out every day. Is that stressful for like, all right, if things slow down, the rankings drop and you feel it's all on your shoulders? I, I feel it. My boss comes in every morning and we search roof fence and we see where we are. And oh, we right. talk about it and you know, if it's, if it's not where we want to be, I have to have a plan of what we're going to do. What and happened on Monday afternoon, I don't know if you remember last Monday, it was August 10th. This video will be out well after that. Mm -hmm. There was a big Google bug and everything was just screwed up in the search results. It yeah. didn't happen in the morning, so you're probably lucky. You probably dodged that bullet. I, I dodged. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't notice that at that time. Yeah. But, it, but it was crazy. I did notice May eighth. Right. May eighth, uh, we fell off the first page. Uh -huh. That was a big, um, a, a big uh, update, and I, I was watching Semrush, and I was trying to figure out what happened. But I could see we lost ten percent uh -huh. immediately, and. It was, um, it got the attention of my bosses too, because that, at that time, uh, I was working from home for a few weeks um, with, with the lockdown, and I could, I could see that, that things were changing, and then we fell off, and I went to my boss and said, like, I had done as much as I could do without the content. And he, since then, he has really stepped up, and he's been working on that homepage, we've been working on our content, and we managed to get, get it back. So we know we can we can do things, and it really it's a team effort. So you were somewhat hit up, like a little bit by this May core update. That's what the May core update, and you were able to regain a lot of that traffic since then. Or not really. Yes. Yes. There's also I have to say we we put a little bit more into SEM. We've we've we, we've the shopping ads have been very good. We've right. brought a new person on, who does a lot of graphics and also has more of the marketing experience. And uh, you can see the traffic in the site has not diminished, but there's a little more of it coming through shopping ads yeah. rather than And the uh, shopping ads are now, well, not even shopping, you can do free organic shopping also now. Yes, yes, we, and we're in there. And um, I guess the new guy you brought on, new mar marketing person you brought on, gives you a more holistic approach to yep. marketing, um, which is not just technical SEO, it's also general marketing, which is just going to help your SEO overall in general. That's awesome, that's awesome to hear. You're doing yeah. some good work. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to share, or should we? Uh... Uh, well, I enjoy you. I, I when I when I look around <laughs> and I see the the surf is acting a little funny. I, uh -huh. I see what you have to say. Okay. Uh, and I I do uh, I I like the Reddit forums. I like um, Search Engine Land, Search Engine Journal, uh, the Roundtable. I will you know when I don't understand something, when I see there's a change, 
I think it's very important to go to the forums and see what other people are saying. I appreciate you saying that. He had to say that because this park is under video surveillance. <laughs> so he's on camera. So not just these two cameras, but yeah, cameras all over the place. So well, thank you for saying that. Uh, yeah, I'll also say that I, I feel like I learn a lot when I answer questions. Yeah. I realized how much I knew when I found people were asking a lot of the same questions and I and I knew what to say, you know, when you're when you move your website, what to do with your redirects and uh, not to redirect things to the home page. And I, I've learned a lot uh, just just kind of keeping my pulse. It doesn't take a lot of time during my day, but it's it's important to understand the industry, even if my niche is very small and very specific. Awesome. Uh, so, and, uh, and I feel like I, I, I have a new adventure every day. Never SEO quite is a new adventure every day, especially with these core updates happening all the time. So. That's right. Um, in any event, how could people uh, learn more about you, find out about you, connect with you on social media or whatever? Uh, you can uh, find me on social media, actually by my, uh, my alter ego, Tem Noon. T-E-M and then N-O-O-N. You can find me on Facebook and SoundCloud and YouTube. Uh, RoofFence.com. If you need a vent for your roof, uh, we're the ones to go to. Awesome. And, uh, and you have music, I assume, on SoundCloud. I do have music on SoundCloud. I'm a musician. I play tablas and guitar and uh, a few other things. So check that out. Got a lot of friends at Burning Man. You should make a song about SEO. I should. I, that I have not tried yet. That's, a, that's, a, that's another frontier. <laughs> that's another project. Cool. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate you doing this. Thank you, Barry. All right. That was Ed. Been doing IT for probably before I was born. Super interesting guy. Super smart guy. Also seems very talented in the music world. Cool thing is, you can see his passion for SEO. He's been doing IT for so many years. And then in the past three or so years, he's been doing SEO like pretty much full time. Plus pretty much everything else IT related for that company. And you can see his passion for SEO. Just amazing. Love seeing it. Super excited for this video to get out and hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think. And if you want to be interviewed, let me know. Just comment below and I'll make it work. Thank you. Bye-bye.